Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zips, and welcome back to Wild Frost. We're doing Mixed Modded Wild Frost today, taking a break from the Goobers mod, doing Mixed Modded Wild Frost. If you don't know, this is a series where we, instead of just playing one big, like, mod that adds a bunch, that adds, like, a whole heck, instead of just playing one big mod, like the Goobers mod, or the, um, or something like Snowfall or the Hollow Knight mod, we instead play a bunch of smaller mods that each add like a handful of their own stuff, and we see how they all mix together. Very enjoy series, very enjoyable. But although I did, <laughs> this is my second attempt at a recording because I was trying stuff that wasn't that strong. So hopefully today this will go slightly better. Very strong leader right here. Just a good old three. Just a 6 attack, 4 turn counter, strong HP. All I'm is looking pretty good. All I'm gonna say is I think I like this leader. And I'm down to maybe play it. I'm a bit apprehensive to play Shade Mancers though. None of the other. I mean, this is okay, but... Ah, this is a good 3 poison. This can you Let's play this. I, I, I feel more comfortable doing... I feel more comfortable if I did uh, s s Snow Dwellers today. So, I've been recently playing Persona 4 because it's been a game that's been sitting in my Steam library. I bought like eons ago in like a Steam sale and it's just been sitting into my in my Steam library. It's the classic. So, I decided to pick it up. I've been having a lot of fun with this. I'm going to name this character Yukiko. Because. Uh, he's got similar brown- wait, is this how you actually spell the character's name? I should check. <laughs> you Kiko Yamada. Yeah, that is correct. Wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. That's- that's not- that's not. Persona- Persona 4. Alright, I did misspell the name. It is- It is with a K. My bad. You key go. Yeah, that's how it's spelled. Glad I looked that up. We just double check. Alright. I spelled the character's name right. Uh for this. I mean this leader is not okay. I do a part of me does think there if you had all yet puffle, they did not. I hate to do this because we got all these cool leaders here. But I've already lost a recording, so I'm. So I want to get a win, and when I want to get a win, I, no, not you, <laughs> not you, fucking let me fucking. There we go. I I pick Loki. <laughs> Lu Yukiko Loki Lokiko. Indeed. So, how am I doing? So the the next fest is out right now. So, you guys are going to be getting some videos on that. So, keep an eye out for... Eh, I can let Loki take one damage here. It's fine. I can let my leader take four and Loki take one to secure this multi-kill. It's okay, I think. I don't, I don't really care about this two damage that Yukiko is doing. She can just do a little backflip. So, yeah... Currently, this is my, actually, this is my second video I'm recording today because I've already recorded a video on the Dimensionals demo. Dimensionals, that is, that's a game I plan on doing a lot, a good bit more, more content on when it fully comes out. So, for the future, keep that in mind because you might be, you're going to be getting some, it's probably going to be like the same style, didn't do it in the same style I did like. Well, maybe I'll see see what I, I was gonna say I might do it in the I'm I'm probably gonna do it in the same style I did Shogun Showdown where it's like a second upload and that'd be fine that sounds that sounds like it'd be cool there's some other cool games in the next fest like there apparently is like a sequel they they they're making a sequel to fights in tight spaces if you know if you guys know that one I didn't know that they were doing that but I thought that was that looked kind of and it's like medieval themed now, so ooh, lots of exciting stuff with Next Fest. Uh, also with the Next Fest, uh, it comes the Ri Rivals of Aether 2, which I will be playing a lot with Cranberry. 
Maybe I'll do content on it. Maybe I'll put some videos out of me and Cranberry doing some lavin. I'm gonna take a money path here. Longbow, sharp sheep spear, shaved eyes. Apply three snow, zoom lint, consume. When redraw this, when redraw bells hit, gain plus two. At three, I am a big fan of longbow. Huge fan of this item. This item's fine, snow shaved eyes. I think I'm gonna pick longbow. I like, I click longbow and it never lets me down. Big fan of this card. Goji Gitbird Gear Boxer, while active, gains frenzy for every ally clunker. Gear Boxer, man, I really wouldn't care. I really wouldn't trust this guy to make a DLC for Risk of Rain 2. Am I right, fellas? We do have a clunker, and this thing is like a four. Hmm, the thing is, the HP charm is a little sad, and I do like some of these other... I, I, I'll, let's click Gearboxer. Hi, I'm Gearboxer. I got a score to settle with the storm, so I'll help you along the way. Welcome aboard, Mr. Gearboxer. Hey, this should be interesting. It's kind of weird, because we can't use... If we're going to try to get value out of Gearboxer... I don't think I'm really going to be able to do much with Gearboxer in this combat. This first, this opening wave seems a little bit sad because I need to use, I want to use Woodhead here to, um, I want to use Woodhead here to redirect the pop shroom, which will just be how it happens sometimes. See, like Longbow already coming in handy here because it just lets me get a sweet little double kill. In fact, it might allow me to get a triple kill, which I'm willing to, like, get. Which I don't see real, no real reason not to gamble for, so let's go for it. We yeah, fucking Loki, remember, always gamble. You will win. Let's, let's freeze the Shroom God, where it's gonna be a bigger threat in my In my eyes, it's gonna be a bigger threat. I should have redrawn here. Mm, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I do feel, with Loki on my side, I feel, I'm feeling a lot safer. Loki is, this it's not looking great here, actually. I don't have units that can take it. Oh, wait, I could, I could, <laughs> weird to say this, but I feel like I could die here. I might need to let Gearbox. I either let Loki or Gear let Loki take the poison and then recall Loki. Actually, what I could do maybe. I see another option that I think I like better. So you're getting frozen. Or wait, yeah, we I will freeze Shrudels. I'm gonna play up this hand. The issue here is the Shroom Gobbler. And I think the Shroom Gobbler means that Gearboxer is gonna die. <laughs> My plan here was to redraw. Maybe I can do like... Can I do like Snow Stick into... I wonder, can I, what can I do here? Can I do like Snow Stick Shroom Gobbler? I want to play Loki. Man, this minus HP is really hurting. In this fight, I could just let Gearboxer die. It would make the next fight a lot scarier, though. I think I'll. God, I feel like I really should try to maybe. I, I think I feel like I should try to think about this. So I would need to snow stick Shroom Gobbler. Then I would need to play Loki, recall Loki. I So it'd be snow stick this turn. Next turn I play Loki. And then I play Longbow. Then do I have enough time for that to work? It'd be God, why is this not making sense in my mind? Snow stick, you're at two snow. I play Loki, you're at one snow. I play longbow, you attack. Okay, then it doesn't work. Why do I feel like I got that wrong? Right. I 
safest way out of here is that you just play longbow. And then you just killed by a lady. I think I definitely could have gotten out of this fight. I think I was being a little bit too calm. Being a little bit too laze with this fight. Definitely could have gotten out with Gearbox or staying alive. Sure, I'm rich in. We could see some good stuff here. It's definitely possible. Re redraw your hand, retain. Retain? Interesting. Branch of Nuts. Apply to shell aimless. This does put out, this is a lot of shell output. Although we do have Gearboxer out here. So I feel like I should be clicking this clunker. I'm fine with it. Ooh! Devil Charm. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. Ooh! Ooh! Devil Charm. Gain Bound by Fire. A plus two attack. Reduce turn counter by two. So this is... What the fuck? I had to redraw bell count to attack. I don't think this works for the nutshell cake. So I could take Bound by Fire and Acorn Charm, and then we could play those both on Gearboxer. And then we could just try to like set up Gearboxer to win. I feel I'm definitely down to click Bound to click the Devil Charm here. I'm in. I'm in on it. Because this charm is super fun. The minus HP is really sad, but I think if I click A chord charm, I can get through it. I My money will be going a little bit too low, I feel. Uh, but I feel like I really need the survivability if I want this guy to not die. I'm getting a Shade Sculptor here. Mm. I should probably take a second Mega Mimic at that Shade Sculptor. Do I go all in? I'm going... I'm going to go all in. Whoa. Your Boxer is now on fire. So now Gear Boxer is able to survive... Was I actually supposed to click Nutshell Cake there? Maybe, I, I, I don't. It's fine. We're definitely taking a second Mega Mimic here. Lava Glass Sunderbell. Countdown turn counter by three. Apply one Demonize? Whoa, that's good. Money is low, but hopefully it'll be okay. Let's get down, Gearboxer. Okay, Gearboxer, even though you're injured, you should do good work here. You're a two, although I do not have any way of targeting these back lines, which is, I think I should just Scrappy Sword, although I, I can just Scrappy Sword and the poison kills you. you Yukiko used Poison Ma, I think that's the, oh wait, play, play Woodhead. Um, hey, there you go. There you go, I thought for a second there I was about to get fucking ripped off. And I was about to, I was about to be real mad. Oh, that'd be like, you promised me that Gearboxer was gonna, like, fucking come out here and start swinging. And then he, like, just is not able to swing, and I'll be like, what the fuck? You know? Bam. Hit you with one of those. Should I smack the baby snowbow? I don't see no real reason not to, but I could play Mega Mimic here instead. And I could just put a ton of damage into... Then I could just, like, murder here. And you know what? I'm feeling... I, I got the taste of... I have the thirst for blood right now. I'm down for a little bit of murder. You play... Oh, shit. Bound by fire. That's... That's... This, this is gonna be a... I'm, I'm excited for this one, honestly. I This one's gonna be fun. I am so down to try. Oh, wait. Do, do not let... Do not let Yukiko take 7 here. It would not be wise. Unfortunately, losing Mega Mimic here, which means I lose a Frenzy. 
but hopefully it'll be okay. Put attack here. Then Gearboxer will be doing. Ooh, Bam is attacking. How much damage are you putting out? I think I should snow stick. Then I can. Then I can sunrod and you're good. Yeah, and then you just walk out of this fight. Then you just scrappy sword and or I don't even need a scrappy sword. Actually, I should. I could have. Maybe could have gotten a multi kill there. I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't know, think I'm going to be able to buy this next crown, which is real sad. Real damn sad. Oh, God, Critical Charm? We can cook with that. Although, uh, plus one hand... Plus one hand size means, like, I kind of value if I'm missing a crown here. I feel like this... Critical charm is like maybe just like you're hoping a little bit too much to hit something good. Oh, injured champion, what are you showing me? Oh, hey, BG. Hmm? BG's honestly okay here. I'll, we'll let BG go along for the ride. Uh, fucking kick back, BG. Welcome to the welcome to the squad. I take the path with the removal. Foxy, Bulldrome. Deal damage, e deal additional damage equal to the highest enemy attack. Gain two shell on kill. What the fuck? Hold up. Something's not right here. <laughs> Why is Foxy two attack? Something's not right here. Hold up. <laughs> I think something's wrong. I think something is amiss here. Something is amiss. Yeah, fucking on the Frost mod, balance changes are not off for some reason. I don't like I don't like the balance I don't like the idea of doing balance changes personally. That's just me. I'll click Bulldrome here. Bulldrome kinda reminds me of Bertram from the amazing show. Hit from Jesse. And there's actually a chance I can there is a small chance I can buy a crown here. It the the vase piece has to get hit with the discount. Womp womp. Wampus, wampus. Wampity womp. For 2 HP, aimless. I don't think there's much use in hitting a crown here. So... Probably always keeping Mega Mimic Crown for this run. So I'll just throw the crown there. And I think we can click pink berry. Oh, wait, but this takes my money down to zero, which... I don't know, it's probably okay. You think I could use paint slingshot this run? I don't know, this guy doesn't seem all that strong to me. Fortunately, Gearboxer is full on charms. Use this increase. I mean, this is only a pink berry juice and it's consuming. I don't think that I don't think this is good enough. I'm gonna take a charm here. Goat charm. We should really, really, really try to get a a Sunbell Fellowship so we can be allowed to play that on Gearboxer because that can be a huge that sounds like a huge game changer. Get down both Mega Mimics. Man, you know what? I think I'm also gonna play fucking Woodhead, and all of a sudden Gearboxer is kinda going on. We should we should do very well into this fight, I feel. The big issue with this run is gonna be one of space. Cause we gotta have all these units on the board in order for backflip, by the way. In order for Gearboxer to do his thing. I will play this gear. I will play the Sunrod and Yu Gear Boxer. That looks good to me. Okay. Make sure I am recording. I am recording. Mike is working. We are. We're here. Hello. Hello. Man, Gear Box. Gear Boxer will just be like cruising through these fights. Unit is cool. 
We are we're we are bound bound by fire. I, I just I like this charm just cause saying bound by fire sounds cool. Bound by fire. Just saying fucking like bound I am bound by fire. Lord forgive me, I am bound oh, fuck, I can't like Loki attack first because I'm bound because Lord forgive me, I am bound by fire. Forgive my actions. Also, we're gonna fucking eat King Moko alive here. It, it's not it's not looking good for King Moko. I, I'm gonna just give it to I'm just I'm just gonna give it to you straight. It's it's not looking good for the big monkey. Ouch. Better put some ice on that. This fight's gonna ugh ink combat. Yuck. Let's take a sun bag here. Does mean Gearboxer just gets to attack more. So I don't hate it. I'm a big fan of removals. It lets you get yeah, big fan of removal here. Removal and money? Yum. Awesome. Very cool. So I might in this combat my plan can might be to do something like long I can longbow snow stick the tentacle and then I can okay we're we're cooking fucking longbow is crazy cuz then I just play fucking arrows on this and then I just play like my then I just like gearboxer gets the kill on the on this octa in this octaco and then I play fucking sunbag draw two cards get my wood head out who up wooden they head right now we're we're good ah we're not good anymore the bastard has showed up the e the fucking <laughs> can I have that can I have another Hold up, there is a chance we could redraw here and hit Longbow. Eh, there was a chance. I should take Bulldrome out of the squad. Bulldrome, I realize you ain't really doing much, man. You ain't, like, you're not really doing much. I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. I don't really need you. Is it possible I can avoid hitting Octobomb here, you think? Well, I get hit by the snow, so I won't be killing Octobomb anytime soon. Uh, wait, I need to... I need to freeze the Goblin if I want that to be the case, or else Yukiko will smack the Octobomb. Spawn here. We're in there. We are fucking in the business. So now I can just, like, arrow down... Uh, I need to... Uh, it's fine. I'm gonna still arrow down Tentacle here. We're gonna snow Octaco or Oct Octaco. And then I am bound by Lord forgive me, I am bound by fire. I must act. Yeah, it's it's not looking. It's not looking. Gearboxer just on a fucking rampage. We get all the- we just let all these mimic- mega mimics chill in their lane, and it just makes Gearboxer an absolute beast. And we fucking finessed around- we finessed around the ink so well in that combat. You'll love to see it. I'm gonna take money here. Although I guess I don't have much use for charms at this point in the run. I miss- Kuhn has weak. I the the fucking more frost mod gave Nova weak. <laughs> no, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. If you don't rem weak means that Nova's attack can't be boosted. I don't like that at all. I think that is really lame. Bootleg mask. Ooh. You don't remember what bootleg mask is? This is actually good. Oh, it's no shard. When drawn, trigger against a random ally. Deal two damage. It sounds terrible. <laughs> terrible. It sounds terrible. I don't like that. Cake charm. I mean, we do got we do got the flame water. So it it is a thing where earlier, like 
I would have been rewarded if I, I would have been like handsomely rewarded if I took that. If I took the what charm am I thinking of? If I took the critical charm, I don't. I'm not gonna. I don't sweat it too much. Is bootleg mask actually good here? Because the bit okay, what bootleg mask is that? It's basically, it's basically a blank mask, but the copy is bootlegged, which means the HP attack and turn counter are randomized between two and five. And like the what make what's making Gearboxer so good right now is the two turn counter. So like Gearboxer getting hit with like a five turn counter doesn't sound all that good. Take Loki off the squad. I'll keep Amis around here. I might need a unit to take some damage. And it also redirect might redirect some. It will re redirect some stuff off of some Blood Bell off of Yukiko. Which I think is good. Alright, let's continue. Time to carry on. Carry on, carry on. So Gearboxer out here, straight work in it and you know what we're not playing it feels good I, I like the goobers mod I like I like the goobers mod a lot but it does feel nice to be fighting against Krunker and actually having counter and actually being able to freeze him I will admit I've I have missed this this is some I have missed this Kill, kill you. Actually, I could, no, I should not call in both. I don't think I should. Should I call in? I th I'm pretty sure two spike walls can't spawn. Yeah. So I should play Woodhead here. Because then that kills everything. I just gotta worry about this spike wall. Very good hits of snow here. Very good snow sticks. Spike well will mess me up. Uh, so I should longbow this turn. I will, in fact, just longbow. Because I want to put a lot of damage into this spike wall. Now we are phase shifting Krunker. Which is like, I mean, I guess that could be scary, but I could just like run, run it for lethal. I am dealing 44 damage. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's go, Gearboxer. Let's box it. Let's let's show this. Let's show this idiot who's boss. Let's, you, go, go show him, boss man. Ah, perfect. Sunbell Fellship. Yes. Extremely yes. And then I'm also to combo with the plus one. The plus one card draw. I'm down to take a minus turn counter or a minus bell counter here. I think that's very, very good. So I, if you have noticed, I I saved this muncher charm for when we got the gunk fruit. Very good. And this definitely goes on Gearboxer. This will allow this allows Gearboxer to have the damage necessary to kill the enemies on final fight. So it's a it's a huge it's a huge hit. Huge hit in fact, indeed. So you take this. Get down the Mega Mimic. Get down the Woodhead. And then it's time it's just time to clown. Ain't no reason to mess around. It's time to Ain't no reason to clown around when we can just clown on the enemies. The end. Yeah. Calling the enemies. These guys show up, but they forgot. Gearboxer, bound by fire. Pretty hard to stop. This unit. So I remember last time. Last time we saw this unit, I remember, and we saw it in. I'm curious on something. Wait a second. How much? How much frenzy are you gonna have? How much frenzy are you gonna add? Is this gonna be another? Is this gonna be another um fucking battleship, or a star bomber situation where 
that even though the text doesn't say it, you can like boost the effects up with you can boost the effects with Lumen. No, is it? It wait. You have three. Did you get one extra? You get did Gearbox are getting like one extra um frenzy? Or am I like crazy? Exactly like one extra or something like that from the from using the lumen effect Because you should just have three frenzy right or is it normally four I, I'm I feel like I'm forgetting how frenzy works or something I Might I may be I may be stupid Platinum skull That's that fight over. Please don't make me miss a crown here. Okay, good. It's about to get a little bit mad. I don't need to remove anything. I like everything in this deck. I maybe I could take out Longbow, but Longbow is I it still has its uses, and I like Longbow a lot. Bling throw. Take two bling on kill. Gain two bling. Gain two bling on kill. Gold rush on kill. Gain an additional debt. Damage for on kill gain an additional damage for each 500 bling for the next attack So this is like built up I don't really get this is this like Is it like saying if you um I'm Trying to think if, so like saying you say is it like Greed, but you get it on your next attack. This what? Oh man! If only I could put this on. If only I could put this on gear. Eh, I don't know if this is actually good on Gearboxer. It's fun though. It seems like it would be fun. Maybe I should have taken the Moonland Biscuit here instead of just rolling three charms. Gain three. Gain restore three HP and cleanse all allies in row. Okay, I can go on Yukiko. Yukiko now cast is now casting media to heal or media or you you it could be media it's or dia depending on depending on how you're feeling depending on your sp cost on how much sp you have I almost your attack doesn't uh, that your attack doesn't matter you can have this so I think I just crown the other me Mega Mimic here. And then we just watch Gearboxer box him. Right. Put this here. And it's just, it's time to watch. It's time to watch Gearboxer. We're already set up. We are already set up. We are straight up jorking it. And by it, I mean my clunker. And by it, I mean my bounce. Lord forgive me because I am straight jorking it. And by it, I mean my bound by fire. Brink will be a bit of an. will be annoying here. I should probably just play Sunrod. Although I will be hitting Frost Guardian. Although it doesn't. Uh, the problem here is Plum. So I think I want to start putting damage into Plum. If I do it like this, I will only be dealing one damage to Plum. Which I honestly think, like... I mean, there's, I don't really see much reason not to go slow. The, I don't see any real reason to, like, to, like, just hit Frost Guardian willy-nilly. I wouldn't really get punished for it, but, like, I don't need to... I don't need to make a fool of myself. I don't need to clown around when I can clown on the enemies. Mega Mimic. Hey, that, can I can I have one of can I have that guy? I, I know that guy. I, I know that guy. I know that Mega Mimic guy. I, I know that guy. Okay, I should not die to the enemies behind. I do need to make sure one of my my one of my Mega Mimics isn't dying, so I need to switch the two around. Alright, hopefully here I'll just be fine. God, loving Arrow life is feeling good. 
The Arrow Believer is here is here to stay. Let Uba Bear spawn right here. I know Uba Bear is all the way back there. Back there, the Twilight Zone episode about it was about like Abraham Lincoln assassin Abraham Lincoln's assassination. Uh, shout out. I don't know. There's just something that occurred in my in my head. There's a that 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 is there is a Twilight Zone episode called Back There. Uh, yeah. All right, Gearboxer. It's time to take it's time to take on the big league. It's time to show the world why you're why you're the star. Why you're the number? Why you're the star boxer? Now, dude, what's the? I, I've never played the punch. Actually, I played like I never played the punch out games, so I don't know what they say in that game. But obviously, I've I've no like. I, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Okay, so I think my plan here. Might just be to play Sunrod Sunbag. So I should play Sun. I should play Sunrod here. You're gonna be hitting me for four, but I'm pretty. I will survive it. Although, adversely, I could just redraw here and hit Sunrod again. And it would not have mattered because Gearboxer was just killing things. Alright, good job, Gearboxer. You fucking showed him. Ooh, and then been a while since we did mix modded Wild Cross. Nice little reintroduction. This is def I think out of all the charms from the mod from the mix modded Wild Cross mods. Oh wait, no, I'm losing. I'm losing a Mega Mimic. Shit, it's over. It's over. It's fucked. It's so fucked up. Messed up, man. Your boxer did great work there. That was good introduction back into Wild Frost. Now, I was I was mentioning something with Gearbox earlier. So I remember the first time I saw this unit doing Miskvon at Wild Frost, it was in Snow Dwellers, and I exclaimed aloud that and I well and I pointed out that the unit was bad because like this unit was real that unit was really bad in in shade masters because the that clan did not start with any with any clunkers and the mod creator actually like reached out to me to thank me for pointing that out so he could take it out of the the shade master item pool which i thought that was kind of neat anyway that's good for this episode of wild for us if you guys enjoyed it make sure to like comment and or subscribe and all of you out there have a nice day